Hello folks and welcome to another apple tasting video. We've got Nigel here and uh, we're trying a different setup as you can see by just down in a minute. <laughs> you know what I mean. Down down here. Down here. <laughs> Let's put, a, put an apple on there yeah. so we can show. I've got it. two cameras yeah. <laughs> connected up. So there you are. So you'll be able to see the apple what we're trying. When we took a chunk out, you'll be able to see what it looks like inside, and uh, and we can chat away as we are. Okay. Yeah. So, what you, what we got today then, Nigel? Uh, we've got some more uh, early mid-season apples. We've got um, a couple of Leicestershire varieties. No, three Leicestershire varieties. Four Leicestershire varieties, mm -hmm. and then uh, red fleshed, another red fleshed, and uh, well. We'll see when we go through them. Okay. okay. Uh, the first one I've got is an apple called Pendragon. I'll take that I one I recognise that name. Yeah, Pendragon. Uh, here we are. That's Pendragon. Okay. And I think that comes from, without, without looking it up, I think it comes from Cornwall. I'm just searching for my pen knife, which I'm sure I brought with me. In one of my pockets. Take my out. Oh, here we are. Now you can see uh, the colouring of Pendragon, it's all over red. And when we look inside, it's generally a red fleshed apple, but this year it's been so hot that it hasn't coloured up very well, and it's just a sort of off white with a hint of pink. You might be able to see that there, look, when I tilt it. Yeah. yeah. I, I can see the tint of pink. Yeah. There, so. uh, in cooler years, it's actually bright crimson. We've got no grubs in this, have we? No, no one? grubs in this no. one. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit like a Granny Smith in um, acidity. It's a little bit tart. A little bit. It's very. It's fairly firm, Ooh. fairly concentrated Sorry. flavour, and uh, <laughs> it's very firm. <laughs> Sorry, folks, the teeth just separate. <laughs> I quite like that, though. I wouldn't be able to eat, wouldn't be able to eat a whole one because it is a little bit tart. It's nice for a fruit salad. It's great for cider making, especially in the years when it, it colours up well. But. Um, it's more a novelty than um, a, a serious, uh, a serious eating apple, I think. I'm just giving it a two. Yeah, I think I'd give it a two and a half. It's mm. um, it, it's it's okay. So two for Julie. These this is on a five point scale. Um, the next one we've got is um, a serious eating apple. This is uh, Prince Charles. Let's just see if we can, oh, there we are. It's quite similar to the Langton apple in Langton Nonsuch, so I've had to write the name on it. This was raised locally. This apple is okay. one that was raised in Burbage at the Herbert Robinson nurseries, which have now disappeared. You can see the apple looks like that. Is that catching it on the camera? Oh, there we are, you can see it. It's an ordinary white fleshed apple. You won't be seeing the white. You've got to have it's it the other way around. Let's turn it round. There we go. Mm. Now that's nice. Yeah, it's very, uh, very um, flavourful and sweet. Yeah. And it's a nice balance. I think we need another piece of that just oh, yeah. to, you know, just to confirm. It's, qu it's quite firm. There's plenty of acidity, but plenty of sugar as well. That's pretty close to a five for me, I think. Very nice. That is excellent, folks. It really is. I think I'm going to give that a five. It's, yeah, it's very I, nice. I agree with you. Very mm. nice. Mm. Nice to have a nice apple. Isn't it funny, this year we've had quite a lot of um, bad ones. Mark-wise, last year we had very few. 
Yeah, is I that think the weather. I think it's the weather because many mm. many of them are ripening prematurely. Sometimes uh, a fortnight early, or even uh, three or four weeks, and this means they've not matured as well as they could have done. Right. Okay. Uh, so it does make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next one is uh, an apple from Belgium. Uh, this is known as Rota Dries. Rota means red. It's another of the red fleshed varieties. And you can see it's striped. If I rotate it, you can just try and rotate it the right way. It's slightly striped. It's pale pink under the skin this year. Uh, if, you, if I hold it there, perhaps you can see that. I'm just wondering whether the light might help, Nigel. That light. What's could, here? Could try it. I see it make any difference. Mm. It's difficult for cameras uh, to pick up pinks, I think. I've, I've noticed this before with my own digital camera. Mm. They tend to come out as white, but this does have a little bit of pink under the skin. It has got a daylight setting on that as well. I don't think it's going to make much difference, no, to be no, honest. I don't. Shall I leave it on? Yeah. yeah. A bit more. Yeah, just to confirm it. I lost uh, track. Yeah, this is quite pleasant. It's, it's, it's sweet. There's a little bit more tannin in it than, than the last apple that we tried, but it's not it's not an unpleasant taste at all. And it's sort of floral. I'll give that a three. Yeah, I think I'll give that a three and a half. It's unusual, uh, rather than outstanding. But if that was in your lunchbox every day, you wouldn't, you wouldn't object it. It's good. Uh, the next one is a cooker, Queen Caroline. And this is the first time we've had any really good fruit on the tree. You can see it's a very large cooking apple. Just starting to go yellow. Uh, so we're expecting that that should be quite a good flavour. Have you tried it yet? No, never, no. never tried this one before. No. Okay. I think I might have tried an apple that was about a quarter this size, but that was when the tree was very young. But you can see a cooker, it's a great advantage if you have a large apple because it's easier to process in the kitchen. That's no. a concentrated taste. No, 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 that no, would no. that would cook really well. Yeah. But as an eater, no, not really. Where's the thing? Um, that's you. that's here. Mm. Yeah, it, it's a concentrated flavour, and when you cook that, it, it will probably taste something a little bit like a brownie, I guess. But it's a little bit too acidic for a, for an eater. So, um, um, where's my pen gone? I keep losing it. There it is. Two. Two. Mm. I'm going to give it, um, no, as an eater, I suppose, I've got to give it two and a half. Mm. But as a cooker, I would probably give it a four or a five. Mm. But we will be evaluating how good it is as a cooker uh, later in the week, I hope. Uh, next one is Mott's Pink. An American apple, which we've met before. This one has a grub in it, unfortunately, so I've got to be careful how I cut it. Uh, you can see the... <laughs> <laughs> Paula said, God, if you, you've got to be careful, because if you cut into where the grub was yeah. with the knife, yeah. and you're using the knife, you might be getting all bugs and things spread. Well, I, th I think if... If the grub likes the apple, it's not going to like my insides very much, is it? <laughs> there you go. Now you can see yellow skin, 
but this one is quite a dark colour in, inside. This is usually one of the better flavoured red fleshed fruit, or red fleshed apples. I must say that's pretty good. It's slightly tart. It's got hints of um, red fruit in it, possibly um, blackberry or something like that, with a dominant apple taste. It's it's really quite quite a good apple. The skin. What do you think of the skin, Julie? A bit tough. Yeah, if it wasn't for the skin, mm. I'd give it a five. But you give it a three and a half. Yeah, I'm going to give it a four and a half. I really quite like that one. It's also got hints of uh, a candy flavour as well, which you sometimes get with um, hidden rows, which we've, we've met before. Uh, now the remaining apples we've got are from Leicestershire. And this one is an unnamed apple from a 150-year-old tree in Stony Stanton. And I've got some notes here, so I'll just read out what I wrote about this. Um, so the Stony Stanton apple, this is known to be, the tree is known to be 150 year old, 150 years old. It was part of an orchard planted in 1860 in Stony Stanton. Uh, we know this because the land where it grows has been in the same family for several generations and they have a date for when they planted the orchard. In the 1940s there was a landslip and the whole orchard, apart from this one tree, collapsed and fell into the quarry, along with the neighbouring pub that ended up at the bottom of the quarry as well. Mm. This tree um, is situated halfway down the cliff into the quarry. It fell sort of halfway down and then it rooted sideways into a crack in the rocks. And it's been there ever since. It's, so it forms roots from branches which help to cling to the rock face. And it fruits, according to the owner, three years in four. It's a dual purpose apple, usually coloured orange. And it's rather acidic until Christmas. It might be a rootstock apple, but the fruit is of good quality and keeps quite well. So let's see what we uh, can make of it. And for those who are yeah. wondering, Stony Stanton is um, next village. Yes, it's about two or three miles away. You can see the orangey colour of the skin there. You know, that's not bad, is it? It's quite firm. It's a firm um, apple with not that much juice in it. Is there a grub in there? Or is that... Oh, yeah. yeah well, I'll finish well, with it now, anyway. Do you want a little bit? No, no, it's all right. Um, I'm only going to give that a... Uh, uh, I don't know, three. Three. So, yeah. yeah, I'm going to give that... Where's my pen gone again? It's disappeared. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Three for Julie. I'm going to give that a four. I thought that was very nice and sweet and firm. Now, the remaining two apples are from Church Langton. And they're here. Uh, this one, this small one, is the Langton Nonsuch. This was uh, an apple that was believed extinct for England, um, last recorded in the 1920s, and we've actually tasted one of these already this year. Right. Uh, so we'll have another try at that one. But the reason I've brought that one is we've also got this tree which we found in the village of Church Langton, very, very old tree, and we think it is the same variety. Right, this one 
was propagated from cuttings sent to us from Hamburg in West Germany. And then after we'd found the Langton Nonsuch in Germany, later on we found this ancient tree in Church Langton, which we think is the same variety, but no one knew what it was. So we can give a mark for both of these. This is the, Lang the known Langton Nonsuch from Germany. And um, Hogg, the fruit expert in um, late Victorian times, he described this as um, saccharine, sweet, and highly scented. It's also quite soft. It's soft, and the skin is very soft as well. Yeah. But I think it's lacking a bit of flavour. Yeah, possibly gone over a little bit, mm. or ripened prematurely, and it, it, it sort of baked some of the flavours out of it. As I said before, I think, uh, it tastes a little bit, a bit like uh, apple meringue. Very, very white flesh. Okay. Three and a half. Yeah, I'm going to do that at four. And let's try the other one, which we think is the same the same variety, or possibly, if it's not the same variety, very, very closely related, perhaps with the same parents. But it, it seems to ripen this the second one about a week later. It's a bit sweeter, isn't it? Mm, this, this, this is quite good, this one. Of course, it's, it's not a totally fair comparison because the two trees are in different parts of the plot. This is in, in a, a sunnier area, so it gets a bit more sugar. This is very nice. Not quite as soft either, is it? No. I'd give this a six. Mm. I, I'd give it a <laughs> Top five. Top score for this. I'd yeah. give it a five. five it's very, yeah. very nice. Yeah. This tree was in the ground. This one is still in a pot. So perhaps the flavour hasn't developed quite as much as it should. I think we ought to have another piece of that now. Okay, that's don't, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, just to, mm. yeah, this um, is excellent, folks. Yeah, this one, we call it, uh, I've got it on the list as Langton M. M stands for uh, Maxine, who is, is the name of the lady whose tree this, this is. That is really good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, lots of sugar, not too much acid. Mm. Not too soft, the skin's fine. Mm, I'd love that in the garden. Yeah, right? excellent. Mm. Mm, we're getting a few nice ones now, aren't we? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that, that was nice to end on a, on a good tasting one. And yeah. That really is good taste. Yeah, that's the first time that tree's fruited. We grafted it uh, I think four years ago. Right. Mm. Mm. Right, shall I put the scores up? Yeah, yeah. It's just, I can't. Might work it with a bit higher. Oh, is that is that That's okay? It, like that? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Anything else you want to add, Julie? They were um, some of those. You know, as you, I agree with were tasty. Um, how are the how's the apple situation going? Have you had? Has it been as bad as everyone's saying with other crops? Well, the ones that have. The ones that were in blossom early were badly affected by sawfly and many of those are the earlier varieties, not always, but um, there's not that much of a link between fruiting time and blossom time, but the, the red flesh, which are fairly early, they were all badly affected by sawfly right. and one or two of these have been, but the later ones I think are going to be better. Mm. And there'll be lots more to come. Uh, next yeah. one, next tasting probably in 
if we're lucky, about a week's time. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Do you think we'll have more tastings this year than last year? About the same, I'm hoping. About the same, yeah. yeah. Some of the trees that fruited last year are having a year off. Okay. But we've got a few new ones. Yeah. Yeah. All right then. That's. Yeah. Good to keep a note. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it, folks. You'll have to let us know whether you find this dual camera thing okay. Um, I don't. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's quite useful being able to put the, the fruit close to the camera without yeah. having to sort of stretch yeah. towards the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I think that's about it for today. Yeah. Thanks All for right watching. Then. Thanks for watching. Bye.